Hey. <laughs> well, how are you? I'm good. I wanted to throw out some terms at you and see what you thought about them and what you know about them. Okay. What do you think when you hear the term unit? Um, I think my family unit. Oh, really? That's interesting. <laughs> see, in math, we measure things in units. So we'll be getting to that later in the video. How do you think about measurements? Um, the first thing that comes into my head is measuring cups of flour. That's very <laughs> accurate. And we would measure by using units. And so we're going to apply these two terms to the video. And we're going to figure out some things about math. Okay. So we're looking at units, and there are different systems of units, such as the metric system, and any value of a physical quantity is expressed as a comparison to that quantity, uh, such as in unit analysis. And when we look over at the metric system, which is also called SI, System Internationale, um, we can see that we have the measurement that we're all familiar with, meter, which is measured in lowercase, the unit that's used is lowercase m, and that is a unit of length. And then we have kilograms, which is lowercase k, which is a unit of mass, and seconds, which is lowercase s, and that is a unit of time. So if we think about the most famous equation that we can think of, what is it? Hmm. E equals MC squared. E equals MC squared is one of the most famous equations in the world. And it means energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. And so it's very important to look at what these terms all mean. So capital E equals energy, which is measured in joules. And lowercase m equals mass, which is measured in kilograms. And then lowercase c is speed of light measured in meters per second, which is the, the explanation of e equals mc squared. And it's very important to realize that lowercase e equals uppercase m, uppercase c squared is different from the actual equation. So there's a difference, and you have to make sure that you're using the right one because in science, there are certain set terms, and these are set terms. Capital E equals energy measured in joules. So I'm cooking in New Zealand, where sticks of butter have six tablespoons per stick, rather than eight tablespoons. So I'm trying to make uh, brownies with my grandma's recipe, and so my American grandma's brownie recipe calls for three cups of butter. <laughs> and I want to know how many sticks I'm going to be using of six tablespoon New Zealand butter. So I can figure this out by using unit analysis and by knowing certain uh, how to cancel other units. <laughs> yep. So I'm going to start off with my three cups. Mm -hmm over one uh, batch of brownies mm -hmm. and I'm going to multiply that by 16 tablespoons because there are 16 tablespoons in one cup. Mm -hmm. So you see we have these, I'll just say cup, uh, we have these like terms here and then I'm going to multiply that by 48 tablespoons over six tablespoons. Wait, no, there's have six tablespoons over one cup, and this equals the three cups times 16, 48. And you cancel the cups. Exactly, and see we have tablespoons. And then that is over six tablespoons that are left. And so, or six tablespoons, we're using this number because we have six tablespoons of butter in a stick, so we're dividing that by 40, mm -hmm. 48 by that, six tablespoons, and we'll come up with eight sticks of New Zealand butter. 
for this brownie recipe. Today we're going to look at precision. Spell out here. Precision. Precision <laughs> is important in all cases. You can have very high precision and you can have low precision. What I mean by this is, when looking at, say, lab results from a, lab, from a blood test, you want to have the highest case of precision. Um, you want to be most precise to make sense of your results. In this case, we are dealing with white blood cells and hemoglobin. Um, the normal range for white blood cells, we can say, is 4.0 to 10.5, and that's in terms of liters. And then we have, uh, for hemoglobin, 12.0 to 45.0. We can see that the precision here is more accurate than saying the normal range would be from 12 to 45. Why is it more accurate? Because it is in terms, it's measuring it in the tenths term. Doctor received a result that said, say, This 5 then rounds the 3 up to 4, so we get 2.4 here. And then with this number, we see that it's 2.4. <laughs> and because the 4 here doesn't, is not 5, so it does not round this number up to 2.5, so it stays constant at 2.4. 